All right, I'm here with John Esposito again, and this is, seems to be like our regular thing. Uh, Hello, Shimon. Hey there, how you doing? Good. And uh, I got another four questions, and uh, maybe you can play another little tune for us at the end. Yeah, let's see what happens with that. That'd be cool. Um, okay, let's let's get let's get rocking there. How hard is it for a new artist to get signed in today's music industry? Um, you know, the the truth is, in a um, challenged business like ours, it's always been difficult to get signed as an artist just because at the end of the day, our job at a record label is to find a star, an absolute somebody above. By the way, I'm not a star. I'm very competent on the guitar and singing. No one would or should ever sign me. You need that extraordinary extra funny gene thing that makes you a star. So it's probably um, as difficult as it's ever been for an artist to get signed. The good news is, um, and we participate at Warner Music in a lot of this, there are a lot of independent labels. So while the major labels are very restricted to how many number they can sign, just because there's only so many that they could work, um, the independent labels are a little less restrictive, and it's a good way for an artist that may be right there on that edge to get signed and somebody work them at a grassroots level and they can develop their talent and find out if there's a, um, a career ahead for them probably in an easier way so I have a question you, you said you're looking for stars but now you're talking about developing talent it is uh, can, can you clarify about looking for a star and 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 uh, and maybe even talking about the the, the risk that that uh, uh, the, the labels are, are, are willing to take either more or less risk, uh, you know, because of these types of challenges that they face. Well, listen, at the end of the day, it's always been difficult for us to identify the star. Uh, some are just so obvious, right? Um, but, you know, ultimately, we're trying to identify somebody who has such unique talent that they stand above the rest. That doesn't mean they have to be... Um, Madonna at the level she's at today um, on the first time you've ever seen um, that person. In fact, there's, it's a, there's a lot of stories about how Madonna got signed uh, by Seymour Stein that are, are worth you Googling and, and hearing. She even told the story uh, when she was getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. A lot of people were saying she didn't have it, and she just had tenacity. And Seymour Stein, one of the Warner Music Group um, executives and, and very um, storied, wonderful man saw something special in, in, in that um, um, gal and, and gave her the chance. So, you know, it's, it's you don't have to come out of the gate and be the, the Beatles on their fifth record already, uh, you know, um, selling millions of records. You just have to have that something that makes you stand above the rest. Okay, sounds good. Um, so, the, are, are the that's something. Are, are, the, are the labels, are they taking more risk or less risk than, than the past? Well, I, you know, um, I think that we're probably taking an equal amount of risk, but one of the things we do here, and we do it quite well, is because we're so involved with independent labels, we have two independent distribution companies that have labels that, while they're not owned by us, we develop very deep relationships with them, and they take a lot of risks. Again, it's that thing of they can afford to take somebody um, that we may not want to sign to a major, but may have been just on the fringe of us thinking they belonged here. And then eventually these um, bands or these artists uh, um, um, can show that they do have what it takes. And then if we're lucky enough, we develop a relationship with them like Death Cab for Cutie. You know, the first two records were involved through our independent distribution system, but Atlantic Records got to know the band and the management well. And they realized there was something very special there, and it was time for us to make an offer to have them come and be part of the major label, which has worked very well for them and, and for us. Okay. Um, so based on today's, um, I guess, the music industry, how's, how's the A&R model changing, meaning uh, the method of discovery and, and what specifically are the labels looking for? The Internet has certainly um, had a, a disruptive um, impact on the a r aspect of the music business and um, in most ways in a very positive way because now 
an art an artist can record something in their bedroom and stick it on YouTube and you know it millions do very few gain traction but many of them do gain traction secondhand serenade it was uh, uh, um, an artist that we're involved with um, here through our independent label group did just that and the story started getting collected of how many page views there were um, um, uh, of this of this artist and we started paying attention you know so the A&R staffs in the old days it was all about either just going to clubs every single night or getting called by managers or lawyers they trusted to say here's somebody you should pay attention to and that still occurs um, that absolutely still occurs but now you actually have this additional tool of, of the internet and by the way we have a record label that's a virtual record label it's called cordless started by Jack Holzman who was the founder of Electra Records and a very wonderful and storied um, man in his own right and he thought let's us be part of finding those artists that we're just not sure we should sign to a major label deal but we think they've got something special and we can put them out on the internet and find out if they uh, uh, gain traction and it's worked very well for us Jupiter One um, um, out in the physical realm right now was originally a cordless records deal fantastic um, example of, of it uh, working for us so um, I have one more question because uh, we're kind of running out of time here. Um, can you explain what a three uh, what a 360 deal is and and um, how it works and what's involved and and is that really a factor in signing an artist? Well, it's um, increasingly becoming part of the dialogue when signing an artist at at Warner Music. It's uh, um, and our competitors are starting to realize they should catch up with us in that regard, but let's explain what a 360 deal is um, it's estimated that in the United States the music business is a hundred billion dollar business but the recorded music business meaning the sale of CDs and now um, virtual CDs on, on um, downloads etc is about a ten billion dollar business so that leaves ninety um, um, billion dollars did I say ten it's 10 billion, 10 billion or 10 percent of the 100 billion. That leaves 90 billion dollars that's being done on things like concert tickets, uh, t-shirts, sponsorships, um, um, etc., uh, fan sites, um, uh, all these other revenue streams that are associated with the brand that's an artist. And um, it dawned on us that being the music company, we're the ones who take the chance. We write the check to sign an artist, and then we spend a lot of money trying to market a completely unknown artist or very uh, relatively unknown artist um, earlier in their career. And if it works, the artist gets the benefit of all these other revenue streams, and we're sitting there. All we're selling are the CDs um, um, or downloads. And we thought, why not share in that more because we're the ones who are taking the chance? So we're doing a lot of deals to try to be part of the 360, obviously, being the, um, what is that, geometry, whatever, that's the complete circle um, of, of, of the deal. All-encompassing. Yeah, yeah all-encompassing. So not just a little slice of the pie, but the whole pie. So our, our more and more we're signing deals with artists, particularly early in uh, their career, to share in those rights, which, by the way, only gives us a greater incentive to develop them because... Um, um, we all can make more money if, if we do this the right way. Wow, that's great. Um, 